Hey everybody, welcome to my podcast. Uh, today I want to tell you a little more about my outreach activities. Since a few years, whenever I had the chance, I have visited classrooms around the world. I work together with Rhapsody in School, an organization that focuses on getting in touch with local schools and connecting me with music teachers or members of the school board. So if there is an interested school in a city where I perform a concert, as soon as I know what my rehearsal schedule looks like, I try to organize a classroom visit during my stay in that city. I always try to adjust the level of the pieces of music I choose to play um, to the age and experience level of the students. Uh, that is why I insist in not mixing different age groups within the same session, just to make sure that the younger students are not intimidated by the presence of the older ones. And on the other hand, to make sure that the older students are not bored when I sometimes have to explain very mm, basic things about uh, my instrument and uh, the music to the younger students. As you can see, these visits are always very casual and actually very much fun for everybody. I try to ask for small groups since it is my goal to get into a dialogue with the students rather than just giving a prepared lesson. The great thing is that the subject of these discussions can vary from actually very basic questions about my life as a traveling musician to almost philosophical discussions about music itself. For example, as you can see here in uh, these pictures, I visited a school in Sapporo in Japan and I played a piece for them by Witold Lutoslavsky. And first the students were laughing, of course, and shaking their heads, but very soon we had a very inspiring discussion going on uh, about interpretation and gestures in modern music and quarter tone scales. Here we have pictures from a master class I gave in Jujuy in Argentina where I sat down with 10 young cello players and gave a little master class. The level ranged from absolute beginner to actually quite advanced but all children listened carefully to one another and were so eager to learn more about cello playing and music making. I was very happy to see that and although maybe not every young player will become a professional musician, um, you could clearly see that they actually connect with music and connect to one another through music, so that was a really great thing to see. Now, if you're a student or a music teacher and you want me to come to your school and you see that I play a concert in your city, this is what you can do. Um, go to my website and go to the contact menu and you can either write an email to me directly or contact the organization Rhapsody in School. And um, just so you know, all my outreach activity is free of charge, so you don't have to worry about any extra costs. So hopefully see you soon in school. Bye-bye.